I'm a Hindu, or as it's pronounced in America, uh, Muslim. <laughs> People have called my child a, a COVID baby, which is inaccurate, because he was not conceived during COVID. If you must know, he's a Honolulu Ritz-Carlton vacation baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's a writer for Totally Biased with W. Kamau Bell and also the creator of the 2017 documentary, The Problem with Apu. Now comedian Hari Kanabolu is out on tour promoting his new comedy special, Vacation Baby, with a stop this weekend in Chicago. And he's here in studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Thank yeah. you for having me. How's Father Hurt treating you? I, uh... <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's it's fantastic. He's two and a half years old. Every every cliche thing people uh, yeah. have said. Uh, you know, the one thing I didn't want to be was a was a dad comic. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell all the yeah. Sure. Uh, yes. And so overall, I feel like I've done a good job of balancing it. But there are puns in the show which are very unfortunate. <laughs> It's like intrinsic, I right? don't even mean to. I don't even know yeah. how I wrote them, but they just ended up there. Yeah. yeah. So are you watching the NBA Finals? Because I understand that you are I a do. huge Steph Curry fan who was not mm. playing in the Finals, but uh, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. I'm a huge Steph Curry fan. Well, I, I originally was a Knicks fan, and, and you yeah. know, we know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. So this year was all right, but I became a Warriors fan because my mom got into basketball in 2015, which is wild, in her mid-60s. Yeah. yeah. She got into... Well, it's what, because was it a certain team? Or was it? The, war the Warriors. Oh, the, they the Warriors. Playing yeah. well. I think yeah. it's Steph... Moms love Steph Curry. They yeah. do. They're like obsessed they with Steph Curry. Even though I, I'm a younger mom, I still love Steph Curry. What's oh not God. to love about well, him? He looks oh like God. he's 12 exactly. and he seems like a good kid. He's a lovely wife, yeah. cute kid. He's six feet, but he looks so small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's hitting shots and he plays like a kid. It's yeah. unbelievable. So, yeah, I became a huge Steph Curry fan. Wow. Oh, yeah. And uh, you're a pickleball player, did I hear? I was uh, yeah. for about a week at oh. the end of December. A week? Yeah. A glorious week, I'm sure. Though. Yeah, well, what happened was like, I overdid it because I haven't played anything yeah. since I was like 12. And then I'm like, all right, let me take on a sport. And it's like wiffle, basically a wiffle ball and a yeah. large uh, a ping pong racket. And I, I, I decided to play and uh, ended up tearing calf muscles on New Year's Eve oh, playing thanks. pickleball. But luckily, the elderly people at the <laughs> community center yeah. got to carry me to the side <laughs> of the gym. And luckily, there were some nurses there as well. Oh, Ret retired, obviously. Were you yeah, a senior yeah. citizen? Uh, home or well, the thing, we, it was at? a community center, but the thing I noticed that it's very popular amongst older it is, people yeah. because of the you know minimal mobility and right. lack of actual physical like you don't need to be very athletic. Yeah. Right. Apparently, just more athletic than me because <laughs> I tore calf muscles playing pickleball. Wow! Well, did you make some friends? Because that's what everybody says about pickleball. It's like oh, it's such a great social activity that can make. Not after friends. the calf muscles. I no, can't go back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, forget about him. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you come to Chicago. Where do you go? Do you go up to Devon, you go downtown, where do you, where well, you? I'm going to stay in uh, Devon next time I'm, well, yeah. actually, I'm staying in Devon starting tonight, which I'm excited about. I like to uh, walk around yeah. Devon Avenue to see if anybody recognizes me, yeah. and, and they don't. <laughs> but, like, <I'm, laughs> Maybe but, just another pass. Maybe it's I'm okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've sat in a restaurant next to a poster of me, which is the <laughs> reason I went into the restaurant. <laughs> That's uh, and very this, subtle. I'm right? just like, eh? And this lady was walking out. She had a meal, and she was just stared at me in the poster. And then walked out. Didn't say a oh, word. Was not even intrigued. Uh, wow. So yeah, yeah. So but this time I'm spending a two full days there. Nice. Uh, I plan to be going up and down the block and, and doing shifts basically yeah. until I yeah. get recognized. Maybe we'll, we'll you need to do something kind of crazy. You know, like. I mean, I'm a stand-up comic. I feel like yeah. I've done <laughs> it. Enough, right? What more do I need to do? Well, what yeah. was your parents' reaction when you said, "I'm going to be an artist"? Um, well, I luckily got a master's degree before then, uh, so at that point they were like... You warmed them up. I warmed them yeah. up, you know. Uh, and it was a master's in human rights, so you just basically went from afraid of blood, so that goes uh, from med school to law school, <laughs> and then law school yeah. to master's in human rights. And by the time you get to stand-up comedy, I had lowered the ball so gradually <laughs> that I was like, oh, this is right. in line with where he was going. Yeah. yeah. Oh and as, and as lucrative as human rights were. So, yeah. Well, you can catch Ari tonight and tomorrow night at the Den Theater. For tickets and information, visit thedentheater.com. You can also watch comedy special Vacation Baby for free on YouTube. Hari, thanks so much for being here. This Pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so much. You.